All right, guys, welcome back to Anime Cubed. But we're not reviewing an anime. <laughs> Machinima Cube. Ooh. All right, so in honor of season 16, Red vs. Blue, the Shizno Paradox releasing on Blu-ray slash DVD, Richie Thief to send us two copies to review. Two copies. First impressions of the Shizno Paradox. They're still making Red vs. Blue? Right? So yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, first three episodes of this was a chore. Yeah. That, that was surprising, actually. By three episodes in, I'm like, I'm not finding this funny at all. Maybe it's just me, I haven't seen enough of the show, maybe I'm missing something, but it wasn't just me. Nope, so I've been watching since like 2006 and straight up, like, I don't know what it was, but none of the jokes landed. It, just... it doesn't really, until the timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff starts happening, that's when I get hooked, and that's just because I, I like that stuff. Yeah, and like, I think that's the real strong point, like the actual like, narrative and character-driven parts of the show, and it feels like the jokes are kind of tired and overused at this point, to be honest. By season 16, I just expect like more crafted jokes, I guess. Right, so I can see why they did it. Like the dumb jokes were kind of like to set up the whole inciting incident, which is like, oh, we can time travel now, or now we're screwing everything up. Yeah, all because of pizza. Which on paper, if you think about it, that's funny, but just the execution of those jokes was just not there. And that's, whew, that was rough. But it is what it is, like I said, once it kicks off into the timey-wimey stuff. Yeah, like once we got there, like it was smooth sailing at that. The, the middle third of that entire story, solid, solidly done, you know, it was enthralling, it was like engaging. Yeah, you know, the ending I have my mishaps with, but like. Yeah, well, we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, but the middle part, yeah, you got me. Like I was just like, all right, cool. This is some good sci-fi shit that I'm watching right now. In terms of like character-wise, was it Tucker, sister? Sister, yeah. Those two I like. They made me laugh. I like the dynamic. I was hoping he'd bang her at the very ending. Yeah. Didn't happen though. My least favorite though. Yeah. Go on. Say it. <laughs> I know, I, you told me this before, but like, I don't know. Just say it. Yeah. So my least favorite has to be Caboose. Oh <laughs> boy. I've seen the idiot in so many things that I'm just like, I'm, I'm over it. Like, you don't have to be here. Go away. All right. So. Personally, I didn't really care for the ending that much. It, it just makes all the journeying, the character development, gone. You know what I mean? Like the characters learned all these things about themselves, and now they don't know them. Yeah, anymore. because we're in a paradox and everything's looping back and looping yeah. back, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, it's just like, well, uh, where does that leave us in terms of like the show's possible continuation or not? Yeah, I guess so. Um, that's another thing I like. I'm like. Has the show been going on for too long? Yeah, because I feel like some of the problems that we had are just a symptom of the show being so old and, you know, like they've tried so many things. See, so it's like, it's up to the creators to kind of know when to let something go. You know, like we'll take a IT Crowd, if you guys have ever seen IT Crowd. That's a great show and I would love to have seen more. But even yeah. the creators said like, I'm, I'm done. You know, I've made the story arc that I want. I've told the jokes that I want to. I'm leaving on a high note. Okay, let's. Let's go through the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So you have the you have Omega or O'Malley in like the first few seasons. That was the first big bad. And then with this season you have literal gods. Whenever I've seen a show introduce gods, it's like, okay, this is the end. Yeah, like that's a signal to me like, okay, you can't go any higher than this. Yeah, like you're done. I mean, Naruto kind of tried to do it, but still. <laughs> I would like to see it get resolved, but it like the execution has to be basically perfect in order to give this thing like a proper send-off at this point because mm -hmm. like let's face it you've written a time paradox how do you break that without breaking the logic of the universe yeah so what do you think of the actual like hard copy it's good i like the box art i like the oh, little gang they have the back <laughs> it's, like the, it's like it's so random so you got a pizza and then you've got like the cyclops's wife <laughs> <laughs> kind of one, you know i two. will grill them on the disc design but i feel like little bear and lackluster. Yeah, I don't little. really mind it too much, but I get what you're saying for sure. So overall, like, not my favorite season of Red vs. Blue, actually. But in terms of just a show, I'm like, eh. Yeah, like good. I said, those first three episodes, you would have lost me if I didn't have to. Yeah, so for context, we've done some show reviews before on this channel, and three episodes is like the benchmark that we gave you at the end. Like, if we didn't find the show interesting at three episodes, yeah. you would drop the show, basically. Done. So yeah, like that's kind of scary to see in hindsight that this would probably be dropped in that format. So yeah, oof. which is a shame because after that it does pick up and it does get a lot better until the end. Until the end, which then becomes 
yeah, what it is. <laughs> so overall, really not my favorite season of Red vs. Blue. No, I mean, that's just a show. Don't really have another season to compare it to, but... All right, if you had to put it like a number rating to it, what would you give it? I get like a six out of 10. Yeah, I would I would give it a seven. That's, that's a generous seven, I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Go watch the show. Uh, leave some comments down below on what you thought of the show. Maybe you disagree with us completely, and you do love those three episodes, and you love the whole thing as is. Yeah, please, you know, break it down. Maybe there's something we missed. Like, I love reading stuff. It's like, oh, wait, so here's how it's actually... It's like, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Break it down for us. So to maybe, maybe get your hands on one of these brilliant copies of Red vs. Blue, that shit's no paradox. Link in the description down below.